pH stands for power of hydrogen. We already talked about this. All other things being equal, the higher the pH, the better the cleaning. All other things being equal, the lower the pH, the more stable the dye. You have to know what kind of pH is in here. People that do some spotting and so forth will emphasize, well, before you start spotting, you need to check the pH of the spot and all that stuff. Baloney. It's not normally necessary. Here's the pH chart. By definition, pH goes from 0 to 14. Right in the middle is neutral, 7. Not even your tap water has a pH of 7. Your tap water probably has a pH of around 7.5. It's slightly on the alkaline side. At least it is around here. Distilled water has a pH of about 6.8. It's slightly on the acidic side. These are pHs of 1% solutions. <coughs> Most people think ammonia is pretty mild. Guess what? 1% ammonia has a pH of 11. 1% ammonia would void a stink master warranty. The upper limit for stained master carpet is 10. 1% okay. ammonia has a pH of 11. A 1% solution of ammonia would void a stained master warranty. Like I said, most people think ammonia is pretty mild. No, it's not. TSP, which is commonly used in wall cleaners, 12. What was the pH of that TLS 2000? 1 to 10. It's in here. Notice that's just below Y at 1%. Here's, PC, here's uh, PCA5 right about here, just a little above borax. There's no borax in here, but that's about where it lies. Again, neutral pH. In fact, some people talk about neutral pH detergent. Rarely is it actually 7. What they mean is it's somewhere around in here. It's a low, you know, it's a low alkalinity. So on the acid side, you've got milk, eye drops, are, are your tears are actually on the acid side. You know why? Bacteria don't survive well on the acid side. And so your tears are slightly on the acidic side, so that your eyes are constantly washed with an, a disinfectant what it amounts to. Beer, grape juice, pH of four, wines, lemons, oh, oh, must be time for lunch. Vomit. You said most of soil, most soil is acidic? Yep. But you're cleaning with a higher pH. So mm -hmm. is this like an opposite to track type? Yep, yeah, well, it's a op op an opposite reacts. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you where, remember PCA5 has a pH of 9.5. Shortly I'm going to tell you what the dirty water is. It isn't 9.2. But I don't, want, I don't want to reveal that yet. It's not time yet. The reason I want to emphasize vomit, better than it upsets your stomach, and also to tell me where I stand, and my timing. What did we say about lower pH in dyes? The lower the pH, the more stable dye, or the more the dye is set, the stain. Think about this a moment. Fido just upchucked lunch because he was sick or whatever, and in there, you know, a lot of that dog food looks like looks red because it got red dye in it, or whatever. Or the kid threw up Kool-Aid or grape juice or whatever. What do you suppose happens to the probability of my getting this stain out now? It's on the acid side. What hap what have we what happened with that dye? Yes. The dye's been set. And that creates a new problem. And so if you're trying to remove a stain, it's from vomit. You need to tell the customer, this is education again. And did you know? You want to educate because of it sets you apart. 90% of your, your competitors are clueless. They have no idea what pH is. They have no idea that vomit is on the acidic side and sets the stain, etc. Man, did you know that that's exactly how they set dyes and stains is by putting it on the acid side. And as you know, vomit is extremely acidic. And so this stain is going to be very difficult to remove. I will do my very best. 
but I can't guarantee I'm going to get out, but I will do my absolute best and hopefully we'll make it look a whole lot better. You notice what I'm doing? I'm lowering her expectations. Now if I make it disappear, what am I? Scotty, hero. Exactly. <laughs> I would never, ever, I don't care what it is on that carpet, I would never say those are not a problem. I would never make that statement. <coughs> Number one, the moment I said that, it's curtains because that'll be the one that won't come out. And I'll give you a real true story along that line. The technician saw that, told her, those are never a problem, you'll never see it again. But Mrs. Jones, whatever her name was, 2 o'clock in the afternoon when the sun was coming in just right in the window, and she got down on her hands and knees, she could still see the shadow of it. Did he meet, did he do what he promised? He under-delivered. If he had made a big deal about how difficult those are, etc., the fact that she could have seen the shadow is no big deal. And the reason she was looking for the shadow is because she had been promised something. Be real careful about what you promise and what you guarantee. On this pH on this column is what's called power. This involves a question. There are about three or four questions on the test out of this. Notice that it goes 0, 10, 100, 1,000. What it means is every time I go up one single pH unit, I go up tenfold in alkalinity. You know, we talk about uh, PCA5 having a pH of 9.2, and we talk about, I'll see it. I know that's 11. Let's go from, let's just round it off, 9 to 11. That sounds like two pH units, doesn't it? Oh, that's not much different. Oh, I go up from 9 to 10, that's tenfold. To 11, that's 100 fold. It's 100 times as strong. It's what's called logarithmic. If we drew this on a graph, it would look like this. It would look like a horseshoe. Also, the same thing is true on the reverse side. The, the lower, every time we go down in pH, we go up tenfold in that acidity. That's how pH works. Where's sulfuric acid form? Depends on the concentration. Straight sulfuric acid, right there. Just like I said about my Coke, it's got phosphoric acid in it. In your, don't go to it, but somewhere in your three ring binder, under the chemical tab, is one of these. It's what we call the sewer letter, which sounds kind of strange. It's on a letterhead signed by me. Attached to it are the material safety data sheets for the products you normally use. PCA5, Prefus, and Booster. Its purpose is to give to your waste treatment plant a copy of what you're doing, what you're dumping down the sanitary sewer, and its characteristics. And its characteristics are, is fully biodegradable, that you always screen out all the insoluble materials, the cat hairs, etc. And the final pH, and the final pH is between 7.5 and 8.5, usually on the lower end of that. Like I said, the dirty water, remember your soils are acidic. The dirty water itself, and therefore what we're leaving in the carpet, isn't 9.2, it's about 8. You know that hand soap that you get in the uh, government buildings that has that characteristically yellow, real cheap junk, sometimes greenish yellow, has that characteristic, it's coconut soap. You know what the pH of that stuff is? It's 10. pH of 10. That gives you kind of an idea of how mild actually the PCA5 really is. 